Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 16 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to create this extrusion. Um, now we're gonna continue working on this and what I want to do is to uh, push this back a, a little bit so AL on this wall and then going right here so even though it's notch over there um, I think it still looks better than um, going all the way and then let's fix this one so let's go to paint and then just paint this one right here and then click done and let's see um, right here as you can see we have these walls that are not all the way up to, to the top so we need to select each and every one of those walls that are inside and then let's attach it to the roof so now it's all the way pulled back at the top and then this one as well the one that we have on this you can zoom in in order for you to see it much better right here we can see this part right here this one we cannot pull up because it will go all the way right here so let's just do this first and see how it looks this one's done um, here let's do click tab and then here we can attach it um, in terms of this one we need to see our this wall right here that we need to click we need to create a gap or to um, to just split element this and then we need to attach it to the top there we go so now it's all the way up there and it's covering that wall and then if we go here as you can see we have this one slanted already we need to do this on this side as well so let's go to north elevation edit this profile we can pull it up and then pull it up remove constraint and then we can just slant it and then click finish delete element and then we could just add the mullion later on here as well edit profile move it all the way at the top remove constraint and then let's edit this again and then just add this and then trim this one and then just clean this up delete this and then finish and then delete and then we just need to add mullion at the top right there and that looks good So everything is gradually looking similar to each other and then here let's align this one all the way to the top there we go we fix this one right here 
and we fix the one inside so that everything is looking nice and it's actually really good here if we could add in a nice uh, lighting pendant a chandelier or something like that it will looks really good so next thing i want to do is to add the sidewalks and then the landscape right here so let's go to ground and what i want to do is to add a new floor let's edit duplicate this will be floor number six and i'm going to change the material to one of the concrete material right here i'm going to choose something that we haven't used yet so i'm going to take a guess and add this one first and just press ok and we're going to add the street right here i'm gonna pull this one right here first and then go over afterwards i'm gonna set up my street first like this I'm gonna enlarge it so that we have enough for a car and then here something like that um, let's make it 9,000 millimeters and then we can delete this trim this one uh, let's add a Let's add this first uh, split element, SL, and then trim this one so that we don't miss the ones on the right side. So now everything looks like this. Uh, we could extend this one a little bit more and click finish. Um, let's double check the way this one looks. So that looks good right there. Um, we could create the sidewalk and then the grass part right here as well and, um, let's do the grass um, another floor material edit duplicate this will be floor number seven and then this will be grass pull it up apply okay and then okay and here i'm going to add the grass part onto this side and to this side we want to make sure it's not over so we just wanted to keep it like that and then we're going to add the one at the back For the one at the back I'm just going to make it a little bit small because I want to I'm gonna incline so give me a second I'm gonna show you what I want and we could look into that more in details so here I'm just gonna pull it like this and I want my background to have a height so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another floor it's gonna be a grass floor again so floor number seven but we could manipulate or make it inclined Click finish and then here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify sub element and then change this height so I'm gonna move this probably 12,000 and then same thing here modify this select this 
this corner right here. There we go. And I want that slope to be like that. And then we could add in those um, trees. I think that's good enough. Yeah, I think that's good enough. So next thing is the sidewalk. So let's create that using model in place and then generic model. I'm going to do an extrusion change this to one of the concrete material again and pull it up apply ok and then here we want zero right here um, I want it to be at least 100 only sorry zero here 100 here at the end so I'm going to set it, pick a plane, I'm going to select this one, this plane right here, and then let's add this one right here. This one is, make it 2000, oh, we're going to increase this more, copy this. And then fillet art this 1400 let's maintain the same radius and we could just move this one click finish so it's just extruded 100 there and then click finish again I want to increase this a little bit more to so make it I don't know 18,000 18, I think that's good enough or 15,000 only because we're gonna add another one edit this one edit extrusion and then just add this one right here same thing and then 2000 for the sidewalk 2000 millimeters and then click finish don't click finish yet because we're going to make some grooves here so after this click create sweep pick path And then let's just add this one right here. Click finish, edit profile, and then here let's select another concrete material. Apply OK. So I'm going to copy this so that we could go on the other side if we create the sweep again and we could just paste this so it's going to be a lot faster so control c and then here we could make 100 by 50 so 50 here 100 here and then i'm going to curve this so fillet arc this 35 is good enough so that's 35 there and I'm going to add a little bit more I'm going to add something like this right here so don't worry I'm gonna give you the dimension this will be 10 and let's go 1050 
actually let's make it a little bit more so maybe 10.5 and then let's clean this up I think that's good enough I want to probably curve this if we can I think that's good enough click finish and then let's see how it looks so that is looking good I like the way that curves there and we just need to do that onto the other side maybe um, I could curve it right here but I think that's good enough it's kind of different so I like it so now we do the other sweep pick path and do the same thing with those dimensions so now it's 100 by 50 here okay and then curve it right here using a fillet arc that's 35 and then again here 50 by 10 or 5 that's good clean it up and then trim this and then let's go click finish and then finish on that I kind of added this because it gives it more realism because when I notice how they make this they usually ha have this part right here and I just want to add that and then lastly let's do this over here click finish right here edit profile add the same thing 50 by 100 fillet arc that's 35 and then here add this one right here that's 50 by 5 and then here 5 sorry that's five and then clean it up you can even add the fillet arc here maybe five radius or whatever but I think this is this looks good enough and then click finish once you're done and as you can see that really looks good So that's done right there so then after this um, I what I want to do is to make this wood so what we need to do is go right here under paint and we need to set this one as the material so plywood sheeting um and then maybe this part as well um actually this part i'm i'm thinking of another one another thing so maybe the one in front should be plywood sheeting because i want wood and then we need to edit this because I want plywood sheeting here as well so edit and then we need to go to paint and then choose plywood sheeting you really need to edit this part 
edit in in place massing in order for you to add and then at the top because that's the roof um, we need to do the same thing this one I'm going to put uh, I'm planning to I'm gonna see how I'm going to do that but for now I want the sides I also want to I want to do this but maybe this is too much for this part but yeah I'm just gonna do that and then everything else is white um, except probably on below right here so once you finish that click on finish um, in terms of right here we need to split face so we need to click here and then try to draw the split face it's gonna be hard and but good thing everything is snapping right there There we go and then click finish and then once you do that you'll be able to click paint again and then only at that part the reason that I know that's the only part because this is the same um, roof as well so as you can see it's still white at the top there so we just need to do that part and then this one as well so split face and then just manually split face this one is a lot easier as you can see it snaps and then there's not a lot of corners there we go click finish and then click on paint and there we go and then we need to do it on this part as well so that everything is so I'm gonna hide this first hide hide element select this select split face and then select this one click on tab in order for you to select different parts click finish and then click paint and then lastly on this part split face select the face that you want make sure you have the icon um, square that's basically the end that tells you that that's the end point right there so even though it snaps on X X is meaning uh, intersection so now click paint again click done and then what we can do is we can unhide the one that we so sorry not that one but click here select that again unhide and then click finish so we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe 
feel free to comment down below.